Did it reset my quest? Or did I just forget to do that? I have a feeling that I just forgot to do that and we're actually okay. Also, I'm very thankful to the devs for uh, giving me a car or the ability to make a car. You like my Cybertruck? I made it myself. Okay, uh, we're trying to get to the central mine. And actually, technically, we need to get behind it. So I need to put a thing there and not there. Yeah. Okay, as funny as this is, uh, I th actually think it's making it noticeably slower. So let's get rid of my cover. Yeah, it definitely was making it slower. Thankfully, there aren't any enemies around, because it's, you know, they're... It's daytime, so we're not going to be running into uh, any, like, of the frocks babies. Although, as soon as I say enemies, there are some there. Which, truth be told, I should probably kill them, considering resources, but, uh... I, uh there will be time for that later. Got our first eye. And unfortunately, I have seen, uh, I have seen how this goes down. I have been here, uh, once before with this eye, this exact eye. Forgot there are fans down there. Come on, Link. I'll p even put it in the same slot. Bada bing. Unfortunately, it fades, so it doesn't look any, it doesn't look as cool anymore. You have returned one of my eyes to me thus far. After you have found my eyes on the plateau above, each of them near a chasm, bring every last one here to me. Okay, so now... I need to go to this chasm and hope and pray that the eye I dropped in there has stayed, because I don't think it has. There it is. Okay, well... I worried for nothing. This plane's so good. Look at this plane. It's so fast and powerful and still a little bit sluggish, but it's cool. It has a sick light on the front. And it doesn't use any of my battery yet because I wonder if my helm applies to the, the battery consumption, like the real battery consumption. Uh, I need to go down, and I actually would like to. Get a perfect landing. I don't know what who I'm kidding, because I'm probably not going to be using that plane again, but I like to imagine that I could, if I really needed to. We got the second eyeball. And that begs the question, do they all have these quests? Because I, I forget. It it actually looks a little bit more abnormal with... With the eyeball, you know? So I wonder if we have to do this for every region. I don't think so. Or every statue, rather. You've returned two of my eyes to me thus far. After you have found my eyes on the plateau above, bring them to me so I can see you with... Four-dimensional vision! Man, how cool would it be if you had three eyeballs? If you were TN... Oh, hold the phone. I can use the plane. Because it's actually easier for me, I think. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's easier for me to just go uh, east with my plane. Yeah. Am I missing a light route here? That looks like a wall, but... It almost seems like I'm missing one, you know? Okay, I need to get over... I don't see the eye. Where's the eye? Where is it? I actually don't... Huh. I am getting the sneaky suspicion that it despawned one of the eyes. Unless it's over this way. 
No, wait, wait. No, that's my control platform. Son of a gun, despawn my eye! I can't see! I'm a no well, I'm a normal person. I'm no longer TN. Certainly. Wait, 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 wait. Before I go warping out of here. Son of a gun! Get your fashion fortune! Wait, have I not- haven't I already talked to you? I already talked to- why are you back? I thought you were the fun one! That's really annoying. Well, I know not to trust the game when it comes to matters like this again. Okay, as I was saying. Let's go. Hopefully this isn't too fast or too top-heavy. It should be fine. It should be easy. And very much like Skyward Sword- Oh, we're going over jump! Or Donkey Kong Country. Or Pajama Sam, if you want some more obscure- incredibly obscure references. You have returned three of my eyes to me. Okay, now. Yeah, it looks like this one despawned as well. Judging by the fact that the marker's not showing and it's showing up here. So, it's time for me to warp back and do this entire quest technically two and a half times. Hi, Like Like. You and I are good friends by this- at this point. You know what? I never get to do this. Is it working? I think it worked. I'm pretty sure that worked. Here's my question. If I switch to this... It does work! That's sweet! That's cool! I love that. I don't need your guts a second time in a row. I need this- I just need a different body part a second time in a row. This one. Yoink. Later, nerds. We're gonna move so fast that it has to spawn in the world? Or not? Here we are. For the fourth time. Actually, it's more than that. Where am I? Oh! Wait. Where am I? We have some elevators here. Uh... Let's see where the elevators take me. Okay. That's not bad. It gets me to something. A battery and a mine cart, it looks like. And rockets, yes, rockets. Okay, I don't know if this is what I want. Oh, no, it is. It is. This will take me back. Yeah. Oh, wait. You can ride with me. Oh, ha! I, uh, that was a hard lesson in... in Newton's Laws right there. There we go. Hopefully this isn't too fast. I think last time- oh, last time it was, because I used rockets. This is fast, but it shouldn't be too fast. I'm gonna crouch. I'm paranoid. I lay a canyon mine. It's kind of incredible how many places this takes us. How many sites we get to see. How many rewards we would have gotten just by following the, these mine tracks. I, I actually think we did do that. But it's impressive. And we can take this with us all the way. It's nice that not all of the machines despawn, you know? Or, uh wear out. It's just the flying ones for whatever reason. We're gonna get a couple more batteries. It doesn't matter where they go. That's not what I want. 
And here we go. Again, infinite batteries. It This does not matter. This is already low battery consumption. They just want you to be able to do this early game. They really want you to get auto build, which is kind of sad considering how many t people I've spoken to that had no idea that auto build was in the game. And how could you like this game without auto build? It feels like they should have given you that before you left the, the Great Sky Island. I'm going the right direction, right? I think. Have I gone this far before? Oh. I don't think I've actually been to this exact... Like, I've never come in this way. However, this actually is the coolest way to end. Because we're using all of the machinery. It's cool, Link has a special animation once that starts. You only see it if you hold still. Yeah, this is the coolest way. Oh, did I go too, go too far? I did. Perfect. Again, as I said last recording session, it's really great how well Link moves. He just moves... Wait, did I... Crap. <laughs> he just moves how you want him to move. Humans have this extraordinary ability to be able to uh, estimate where things are going to fall. It's like our one... Well, besides smelling rain... That's one of our major superpowers, is just being able to throw things very, very accurately. And I, I always love... It's cool how that transfers into video games, where the physics aren't one-to-one. -one. We just... It's not an extraordinary ability to adapt to the physics of our world. It's the extraordinary ability just to adapt to physics, and that's very impressive. I mean, we've gone to space, come on. You can't tell me that's not instinctual. At the end of all of this, all of the eyes light up and then disappear forever. And give us, you have returned to me my eyes, the vessels of my spirit. We can now speak properly because you can't speak properly if you don't have eyes. In ancient times, my eyes were stolen and sealed away. For eons, I have wa awaited one who would hear my voice and return them to me. And here you are. As promised, I will repay your kindness by bestowing good fortune upon you. Oh. You can't see, it, see me right now, but my eyes are narrowing. Ah. Oh. Then why give me the choice? The strength that you have chosen will be yours. Is this the first time in Zelda that they reward you with a full heart container for something that isn't a boss? Maybe, maybe it's happened in one of the 2D Zeldas, but I don't know. This feels like the first time it's ever happened. Your wish is granted. That's a cool reward, even though, I mean, ultimately, the eyes kind of... Because there were four of them. Really, the four eyes were just four light orbs. But it's still cool. Uh, okay. Give me something. Yeah. I, I, I've talked to you before, I think. Unless I haven't. Does he have more stuff? Oh, yeah, we can rebuy this. Okay, um... Gators up... Oh! Have we never talked to this guy? <laughs> we can get another piece of this gear, which I will do. I just want to see what else is... is in his shop. The Fierce Deity Boots, which I do have. Uh, looks like all stuff that we've gotten before. Nothing new in that regard, except for... The gators. Those are new. Have that. Cool. That's another cool reward. We now have the gators of the depths. Two pieces of the, the depths series, which gives us, I think, I would imagine, get, that gives us one gloom resistance, and then we, I almost said eat, eat the other piece. 
two pieces, of, two uh, things of gloom resistance is pretty nice. Granted, it's I kind of like my glow buff, but I can get that from other sources, and it's it's easier to get that than it is for me to get gloom resistance because I need the dark clumps or random other garbage. Uh, the the light stuff is kind of just an infinite resource that I have a, a, an abundance of. Cool. Uh, is there anything else, any other way I want to wrap up this session? I've been recording for over two hours. Technically, this recording session is an hour and 54 minutes, but, uh, let's be honest, I, Windows ate my first one, and that was like a 35 minute recording session, so two and a half hours I think is pretty good. This isn't going to be a whole lot of episodes, I skipped out a lot, uh, there, I was very, uh, objective focused in this recording session, but I think that's okay. Oh yeah, that that was going to be my big question. It felt like to me that the sp secret spring of a revival is where we were going to bring the eyes. That's kind of what I was thinking last recording session. But it appears to be worthless other than a place to heal. I would have thought that there was going to be like some secret great fairy, you know, one that that looked cool, but there wasn't. They all look lame. And so we just have this pool that is nothing other than flavor text, a ribbon, in an other, uh, otherwise rich world. Thank you all so much for watching. Next recording session, I think is going to be a little bit of a backtracky one. I know exactly where some shrines are in, uh, in Rito, and I think it'd be really, really easy to grab them. There are two here for sure. Uh, we've gotten those. Toggling back and forth. It really... Okay, there's one. There's one on top of the mountain. You all made note of it, and while I do intend to do back a bunch of backtracking later on in the game, I mean, come on. The, these are right... These are right here. And it looks like I've done a very good job. Yeah. No, I've done a fantastic job of finding these things. Legitimately, it doesn't look like I've missed... I've barely missed any. Like, we've never been here, and I, I actually don't intend on getting these. Uh, I don't intend on getting these two next episode, or next recording session, because that... I feel like we need to return to uh, Gerudo Desert proper for some quests, as the comments have said. Wait a minute. No, I got that one. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to return, grab those, those three shrines, explore the gorge, which we now know has zero shrines in it, which I guess is a little bit spoily. And then... Oh, 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 oh! Actually, no. No, 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 no. This is... I'm doing this right now. I'm doing this right now because otherwise I will forget and it's tiny and I've wanted to do it and the comments said I was on the right track. The comments said I was extremely close and I'm legitimately commentating this because I was that excited to, to see this thing. It's across. Tulin, get me there quick. Yeah, I, I searched for so long and the comments were like, no, dude, you were like right next to it. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't know why I'm giving you guys a California girl accent. Oh, hi. Wait, is it right there? It's right there, isn't it? We just have to recall that thing. Are you kidding me? A bunch of birds. Are you kidding? That's all it was? How? Oh, never mind. No, that's not it. Okay. Apparently, I was exceedingly close. And it wasn't very intuitive. Ha! Got it. Man, that... With that being right behind these trees, it really wasn't visible from anywhere. You had to be right up on it to find it. Discovery! Hyrule Castle Moat West Chasm. Let's dive in and briefly get jump scared by the possibility of just landing in the middle of blight. 
what does this place have in it? Because it's not a mine shaft. What could this place possibly have? A big ol' root there. I'm gonna land and grab this plane because I don't wanna I don't wanna go into the middle of a Frox's territory without being minorly prepared. Chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang, chitty bang bang. <laughs> ah! Nose down! It's not. Hold on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything is under control. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Get in. Stop the... Uh, okay, well, I guess we'll try it again. With the benefit of hindsight, we fly. Chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. Chitty bang bang, chitty chitty bang bang. It's okay. There is a Frox down there. I was right to take 20 minutes to make this contraption. And you, the viewers, don't have any right. Go. Pull up. Um. Huh. This is awkward. Go, go, go. Oh, I am so dead. I'm so dead. Um, uh, let's heal my body and my pride. Uh, eat that and churn. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Leg move! I got off onto a really bad foot here. Hi. Let's get a good shield. That's a good shield. Oh, okay. I shield bashed correctly. Get out of the way, Leg! Run! <laughs> oh, hi. Cool. Thank you. Um, hold on. I don't have a weapon for this. Briefly. Briefly. Oh, I guess I did. That's fine. Briefly. All right, let's uh let's equip some power here <laughs> cuz I could use some I could use something to go right in this encounter. That was about the worst thing that I have ever done in my life. Let's and then also, you know, equip something good. Okay. We're salvaging it. We're salvaging it. We made some mistakes. Some of us said some things that we regret. But it, the important thing is, as we discussed in the comments in the political episode that wasn't supposed to be a political episode, but I made it one, um... Opinions change, and we mature. Take that plane, for instance. That plane looked like something that I would have made 50 episodes ago. But I made it ironically. Oh boy. I don't want to die. I'm not going to die. I am going to learn from my mistakes. Like we talked about, because that is... Oh my word. That is the moral of this recording session. You know, I started it out and I made the crucial mistake of using Windows. And I'm sorry about that. I am going to preemptively cancel myself for those actions. This is the last episode of the series. Come on. Come on. Come on. There. Well, that could have ended a lot worse, right? Honestly, 
if I got the job done, then what does it matter? Right? Where's my... There was an episode a few, a few episodes ago. I guess it was probably like 10 at this point. Uh, I made a big gobbledygunk. I beat a frox, and then I didn't grab its its zonite pile, its zonite nest. And I feel really bad about that. That was a stupid thing to do. I would also really like to question how on earth this area has light, considering there are no light roots here. Um, but I'm just going to question it for a moment and move on. This was probably its own episode. Uh, and what even was here? Certainly there's like a chest, right? See this giant puddle of death? Oh, that I didn't have my armor charged up for? Yeah, if I did, I could have run across that, no problem. As evident, come on. From this, look at that, it's beautiful. Whoa, whoa. I really don't want to go in that until I can see. No bosses, but we can climb so high. In fact, I think they want us to. Hmm. I expected to see some sort of chest. But all I'm left with is a single soul at the edge of this mushroom. Perhaps I've grown overly accustomed to receiving a reward for everything I do, but I am at a loss as to the purpose of this area. A frox, I don't think, justifies this area existing. Certainly there is some chest in here with the lost remnants of a former hero, but it's in none of the, co the four corners or three corners of this area, and frankly, this, this little pocket on the southeast corner has absolutely nothing in it. Which is puzzling, to say the least. Well, I guess that's where I'm going to end off the session. We still got... It was still quite a banger of a session. We, we accomplished a lot. Uh, the Great Plateau is clear. This mystery is also cleared up. We uh, achieved a major quest. And next time, as I said, it probably wasn't that long ago with, with all the cuts I've been making. We're going to go back into the gorge. We're going to find the goats. We're going to pick up some extra shrines that I, I missed in our first foray into, uh, into Hebra. And then that will probably barely take an episode to clear out. I, I mean, like everything, maybe an episode and a half, maybe. We have a boss fight awaiting us. The Vanguard of Lake Hylia. next time in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Man, we've actually been really thorough. Good job, us!